To cricket now and St Pat's have squeaked into this year's playoffs. The team hopes momentum will take them all the way this year. But standing in their way this weekend is the toughest challenge in local cricket, North Albury at home. Pre-season, they were two of the flag favourites. North Albury's proven that's the case, while St Pat's have battled the entire season before finally grabbing the last top six spot. One of those things, probably, when we lost to Wodonga, we're sitting in 10th position and it's looking fairly unlikely. Um, finished the year off really strong, so snuck in by percentage, but that's all we sort of needed. Now anything can happen as St Pat's prepare to take on the best side in the competition. But they're not short of confidence. The Paddies have already defeated the Hoppers on their home deck this year. To be fair, in the 2020 game, we, we showed glimpses that we're, we're capable to match it with them as well. So they finished top because they're the best side in the comp. But I think we know that our best cricket's obviously good enough against them. So we've got to try and bring that on the day now. The equation is simple. If St Pat's lose, they are eliminated win and they find themselves in a second straight preliminary final. The belief in the group is really high and add that with the momentum that we've had over the last five, six weeks. Um, it's a great feeling around the group. Everyone knows what they've got to do on the day and it's just, like I said earlier, it's as long as we can put that on the park, I think we're, we're a massive show. The Hoppers batting, bowling and fielding is as good as anyone in the competition and the Paddies know they must stay focused on what they can control. I know it's the old cliche, but we've just got to try and control both bat and ball and more so probably focus on what our strengths are and, and try and use that and hopefully that's, that's enough for us in the day. The game will be played at North Albury's Bunton Park from 11.30am Saturday. Stephen Murphy, Prime 7 News.